Today's reading is Joshua chapter two. And the book of Joshua is one of the books that many of us have the most questions about. If Jesus crosses boundaries and borders, if he makes his home amongst all people, amongst the forgotten and, and welcomes them into God's family, why then do we have this book in the Bible that is about conquest and war against the nations? Well, there's some layers of nuance. Uh, God, God allows this nation, these nations to have all the chances to turn from their ways. He gives these nations the fullest opportunity to really walk down the road of either turning back to God or fully committing to the sins that they're in. And this conquest is seen as part of God's justice and part of God's holiness. But we also shouldn't miss this important story and the character of Rahab, Rahab, someone from the nations, a prostitute, a woman, someone who seems very much outside of the story as it's been progressing at this point in time, comes to play a central part in the story. Moses sends spies into the land and most of them doubt and because of that the people of God get stuck in the wilderness and here Joshua sends spies into the land and what makes the difference is not the courage of the spies but is this woman who hears of the things of God and trusts in it and shelters and protects the people of God and ends up taking part in the story, ends up smoothing the way for them to take hold of what God has promised. And the Bible is clear. This woman who um, lives a, a life of, who knows, a life of brokenness as a sex worker, as an innkeeper who um, put people up and offered her body. Someone who the Bible would consider as lower, who our modern society would consider as someone exploited and, and vulnerable, perhaps without agency, is someone who, who sees the things of God and takes part in God's story. And because of that, the Bible is clear, she's seen as someone righteous, as someone to follow, as someone who, who weaves herself into God's story. And that's stunning. That's beautiful. It reminds us of grace, that wherever we are, whatever situation we may find ourselves, whatever decisions, decisions we have made in the past, that we can today choose to take part in God's story, to recognise that God can change everything from this part, that God can do whatever he wants to do. The glorious thing is that this woman, this outsider, she then finds herself in the genealogy of Jesus in Matthew chapter one. She takes part in the story in such a way that she is one of the ones who helps prepare the way for Jesus to find home amongst creation, amongst his people. So the question comes to us today, are there ways in which we would maybe disqualify or discredit ourselves? Or are there people around us that maybe we would think they are too far gone, too far removed, too outside of what God is doing? God would not just have the grace to welcome them, to forgive them. But God would have the grace to weave them into his story, to give them significance and purpose and meaning, to give them a key role in his family. God would have the grace to do that with you today. If you feel 
distant or far off, more defined by, by your mistakes and where you're from. God would want to invite you to join into his story, to play a key role with him today. And I pray that in your time reading and praying this morning, he would show you what that will be.